face each other, grab each other's hands, look lovingly and longingly into each other's eyes. Bind yourselves to each other with the promises that you make today. Eric, repeat after me. I, Eric, take you, Amanda. I, Eric, take you, Amanda. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. My best friend in life. My best friend in life. And my one true love. My one true love. I pledge to honor and encourage you. I pledge to honor and encourage you through our walk together. Through our walk together. And love you more each day. And love you more each day than the day I did than I did the day before. Than I day, did the day before. <laughs> I will trust you and respect you. I'll trust you and respect you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. When the way becomes difficult, when the way becomes difficult, I promise to stand by you and lift you up. I promise to stand by you and lift you up. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. To grow together in mind and spirit. To grow together in mind and spirit. To always be open and honest with you. To always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you for long as long as we both shall live. I, Amanda, take you, Eric. I, Amanda, take you, Eric. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My best friend in life. My best friend in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I pledge to honor and encourage you. <laughs> I pledge to honor and encourage you. I pledge to honor and encourage you. Through our walk together. Through our walk together. And love you more each day. And love you more each day. Than I did the day before. Than I did the day before. I will trust you and respect you. I will trust you and respect you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. When the way becomes difficult. When the way becomes difficult. I promise to stand by you and lift you up. I promise to stand by you and lift you up. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. To grow together in mind and spirit. To grow together in mind and spirit. To always be open and honest with you. To always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. going to present a rose for their parents. It's a symbol of, the, of their thanks for the nurture and love that they have been, they have grown together under the, the parenthood of their parents. <laughs> <laughs> These roses are a symbol of their love and appreciation for all that has been done for them. Take your time. I did forget to tell you something earlier. I heard you refer to Amanda as the boss. <laughs> It'll do well to get used to that. <laughs> I always carry a deed of power. There you go. What do you bring as a sign of your promise and pledge? Rings. Maybe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> be small in size, these rings are very large in significance. They are made of precious metal to remind us that love is not cheap or common. In fact, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design reminds us that love is constant and never-ending. These rings that you give to each other are to be a constant reminder of the promises that you make to each other today. 
I pray for your blessing, O God, upon these rings, that they may be to Amanda and Eric symbols of their unending love and faithfulness, and a constant reminder of the covenant that they make today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to let you do Let me repeat after me. Amanda, I give you this ring. Amanda, I give you this ring. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And as you're putting that on her finger, Eric, I receive this ring. Eric, I receive this ring. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Eric, I give you this ring as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Eric, I give you this ring as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amanda, I receive this ring as a constant, as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Amanda, I receive this ring. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I receive this ring as a sign. I receive this ring as a sign of our constant our faith, constant faith, and abiding and love. abiding love. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, the Son and the Holy, the Holy Spirit. I think we'll need those back. Let us pray. Eternal God, without your grace, no promise is sure. Strengthen Amanda and Eric, Eric with patience, kindness, gentleness, and all other gifts of the Spirit so that they may fulfill the vows that they make today. Keep them faithful to each other and to you. Fill them with such love and joy that they may build a home of peace and welcome. Guide them by your word to serve you all their days. Friends, I would invite all of you to join me in praying as our Lord taught us. We say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For God, and in the presence of all of this, you who have gathered today, Amanda and Eric have made their promises and their vows to one another. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands, the exchanging of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May those, those that God has joined together, let no one tear us under. You may kiss your bride. God's own children, clothe yourselves with patience, kindness, compassion, and love for one another, and crown all of these things with the love which comes from God, and binds everything in perfect harmony. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. I'm going to make a brief announcement. Friends, immediately after the service... The wedding party is going to escape for a while. They're just going to disappear. We're not going to have a receiving line. Eric and Amanda will greet you at the tables during the reception. But you are all invited to go over here to the patio or inside for uh, a cocktail hour immediately after the service. Friends, if you'll turn that way, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Amanda Winter.
Grandparents. Wayne and Betty Susie, they're seated at the table five. Please give them a hand. All right, we have our parents in the bride, Ed and Donna Poses. Let's hear it for our final party. 